Hey, welcome back. It's a Dueling Excel podcast. I'm Bill Jellen. We'll have Mike Gervin from Excel is Fun. Today's question comes in from Martin. Martin's from Sweden, and Martin watched podcast 1135, where I talked about how to do a VLOOKUP with comma true at the end, and Martin sends me an evil, evil question. He says, hey, my lookup table is not sorted and cannot be sorted. I'm like, oh, that's going to be really, really tough, because the whole thing with a comma true lookup is it has to be sorted and if it's not sorted we're kind of in trouble so i started to think about this i said hmm, 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 hmm. i wonder if i could if i could isolate which value is the matching value and said so i said let's take that 2714 minus all of these values over here all of these values all right now of course that's going to be an array formula it's going to return many values so i need to get the min the min of that whole big thing over there and we'll do Control Shift Enter. And oh, 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 oh! Really, what I want is the smallest number that's greater than zero. Greater than zero. All right. So I took that same concept that we just did. I said, Hey, we're going to take H3 minus that whole range. If that's less than zero, I want a huge number. No, 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 no. But otherwise, then I want H3 minus that range and took the min of that whole big thing. That's the solution right there. That is the piece that solves this whole puzzle. All right, so it says, hey, from 2714, you're 714 higher than the level. Let's try something else here. Let's try uh, 2555. You're 555 higher than the level. All right, so then what do I do with that? Over here, I take two, I take the um, 2555 minus 555 to get back to the bonus level. See what I did? I found the exact number that I'm looking for, which then I'm using a comma false version of VLOOKUP or a comma zero version of the match, and then it doesn't have to be sorted at all. All right, so now we just have a simple match here. It says, hey, go find 2,000 in this range, and it says that that is in row two. And then to get the bonus amount, very simple, just use index of the bonus amounts, that whole value. Now, you know me. I always build things in these big, long, multi-step formulas. I said, hmm, I wonder if I can get it shorter. So I did everything up to getting rid of the uh, the array formula here. All right, so we have this great big bonus formula um, all put together. And then I said, what the heck, let's try it. And I put the whole thing in one great big formula, Control-Shift-Enter, and sure enough, it works. Now, no one would ever be able to look at this and figure out what the heck is going on, um, but it works. So, Martin, there's one solution. Now, I'm going to send this over to Mike. We'll see what Mike comes up with. Thanks, Mr. Excel. Wow, I love this formula right here. This delta, when I first saw it, I was like, what? Huh? This is awesome. He goes from the approximate value, and with his formula here, finds the difference between the approximate and the exact value, and then gets the exact value, and then uses that in a lookup. Totally awesome. I'm going to take a, a totally different approach. Instead of going from the approximate value and finding the exact value and using that as a lookup, I'm going to take the unsorted table and sort it in the formula and then use a straight VLOOKUP or index or something like that. Okay, uh, I'm going to do this two ways. The first way is um, what if you have this unsorted table and you can't sort it, but you could have a separate table over here. You could easily build a formula small um, that would sort uh, take this unsorted data and sort it so I'm going to use the small function I'm going to say hey give me that whole uh, array right there and I'm going to lock it f4 f4 going down but not to the side because when we copy over to a mount we need that to move over to a mount comma and then we need as we copy down the first smallest second smallest third smallest so I'm going to use rows and I'm sitting in cell I3, so I'm going to do I dollar sign 3 colon I3. That'll increment a number as we go down. Close parentheses, control enter, double click and send it down. Oops, that won't work. Got to drag, and then drag it over. And sure enough, you can see how that worked perfectly. So I sorted the table, then it's just a simple matter of VLOOKUP. I'm going to look up this comma within this range right here, lock it, F4, comma 2, because I'm finding the amount from the second column, true, approximate match, you can just leave it off, so close parentheses, control enter, and then double click and send it down. Now that's fine if you can put this table over here, but if you can't, we can use a similar small uh, 
function in memory to sort the whole column in memory. So uh, let me right click unhide. And we're going to do, um, uh, let's just do the small and see if we can do, get the uh, a sorted table inside of our formula. So small, I'm going to take this right here. I'm going to hit the F4 key, comma, and the K. The small function can handle uh, array syntax. So you can put curly bracket, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Commas are columns, semicolons are rows. It doesn't matter which one as long as you have them contained in curly brackets. Close, par oops, close parentheses on the small and watch this. When I highlight this and evaluate it, F9, boom, there is this unsorted table sorted in formula memory. I'm going to control Z. I'm going to copy that. Control C. Now, the problem is I don't know how to sort the whole table, but I can do one column and then the other column. Well, luckily, I mean, we unfortunately we can't use um, uh, index or VLOOKUP, but we can use lookup. So lookup, the screen tip is very polite. It says give me a lookup value and then the lookup vector and the result vector. So I'm going to click on this value right here for lookup value comma there. That small right there is my lookup vector, sorted from unsorted column. Then I'm going to come to the end here, type a comma, and now I need my result vector. I'm going to control V, and all I have to do is change the A to a B and the A to a B here. Now it's looking there. It'll sort that as the uh, result vector, close parentheses. Now, uh, this is not an array formula. The small uh, can handle this array syntax without control shift enter and v and lookup like index and some product uh, is a function that can handle arrays without control shift enter so I can just uh, enter and then copy it down and sure enough there it works if we come down here we can see boom it's got those two tables it's looking that up and it returns that 33 now if you didn't want to hard code this one two three four five six seven uh, eight like the person maybe was going to insert rows or something like that. Uh, you could do this ridiculous formula here with uh, row indirect count. And you can download this workbook from the, from the Excel is Fun site if you want to look at that one. But boom, there it is. Look up with uh, sorted tables using small. All right, we'll see you next trick. Mike, that's brilliant. That's good. He says, hey, we're not allowed to sort the table. You sorted the table right in your formula. Brilliant. Great use of small. Excellent. Very good. Well, hey, I want to thank everyone for stopping by. Mike, and I'll see you next time for another Dueling Excel podcast from Mr. Excel and Excel is Fun.